everyone, what's up and welcome back to my channel, Shade TV. My name is Marissa Hill. If you're new to my channel, don't forget, hit that subscribe button as well as give this video a thumbs up at the end if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to hit that notification bell as we do want to alert you as soon as we have any new and upcoming videos. And as always, we do enjoy hearing from you guys, so feel free to leave any comments or questions at the end of the video if you have anything to say in regards to this unboxing today. So today is the day. We It's been a minute since we've unboxed a Yeezy for you, but we have the Israfil 350 V2s in front of us right now. So first we're gonna go through that overview of this specific silhouette in this colorway, as well as we are then going to talk a little bit about sizing, and then I'm going to give you guys some shade on Yeezy supplies. I do think it is well served after this week. And then I'm gonna talk about some controversy going on with the specific name use in this shoe. And I would love to hear your guys' thoughts on that portion. We're then gonna follow that up with our styling section as well as concluding with our resale. So let's jump into this unboxing portion. Hmm, I feel like we need some additional something here. How about another pair of the Israfils? All right, that is more like it. The more the merrier, right? I want to give you guys two different shoes to be able to stare at while I'm doing this overview. So first I want to stop, start off with this little brown bag package that I found inside. Guys, this is the first 350 that I've seen that comes with Two lace options, that's pretty insane. So this is obviously just your regular lace tie system here, but this is a no tie lace system. And you guys have heard me talk about this a ton, especially with the MMBNs, how I love a lace tie system where you do not have to tie your shoes. I will say one thing I've noticed with 350 laces, they untie a ton on me, so I don't know if I just have some crappy bow tie, bunny tie ears, but I am consistently tying my sneakers over and over and over, so there is nothing better than a no tie lace system, and the Israfils have brought us that, so I'm definitely in love with this lace system. I'm not gonna change it, I'm gonna be leaving it just like this. So we've got a nice subtle just heather gray lacing color which is quite nice it's nice and subtle i wasn't exactly sure what this color was going to look like in person but i really actually am loving how it's more kind of like a denim blue and it wraps around on our midsole we've kind of got you know that translucent blue mixed with you know this lighter shade here and then we go to the outsole that we're so used to seeing the boost through here. And, you know, we love our boost system. As I always say, it's so comfortable because of the boost. It really feels like you're walking on clouds in this silhouette. It's amazing. So then we've kind of got like this peachy type of tone here. I love the color of this. The peach really just pops off of that kind of denim -y blue that we have in that prime knit which is also splattered with like some lighter kind of grayish tones within that blue as well in that prime knit, which is quite nice. And the blue actually gets lighter in the toe area on one side of the shoe. And of course we've got the semi-translucent that we have here wrapping around on the stripe on the back. We don't have a pull tab on this specific 350 V2 series. This is just a nice color that's gonna go with absolutely everything, which I'm quite excited for you guys to see the styling section because I feel like this shoe really just gives all of the outfits just kind of an extra oomph to it. Then we've got the insole, which looks like it's kind of like a grayish tone here, grayish cream tone. And we've got the Adidas Yeezy font there in just a simple white. Other than that, this is just a lovely colorway that I get to add to my different series. So the next thing that I'm actually going to do is I'm gonna bring out some similar silhouettes 
that you may have thought are too similar to this colorway just to kind of show you the differences. So let me grab those real quick. as well as my desert sages so that you can see kind of the variations between the color tones because I do think both of these shoe options have kind of similarities but I just want you to get an idea of what exact type of blue is on this shoe and the types of grays on this shoe so with the desert sage this green is definitely making I feel like this blue a much more grayer tone and so this is definitely a grayish blue in comparison to this kind of sagey green color. Then we're gonna go over here and just kind of compare it to the cloud white. So the cloud white definitely has lots of blue tones in it, but this is kind of a bit more of like a sky blue tone. And then this of course is definitely a darker shade of blue. It reminds me of just kind of more of like a denim shade so yeah there you have it those are some differences let me know what you guys think of the comparison between these colorways and what's your favorite out of these three all right moving on let's tap into some sizing so with all of my shoes i typically size half a size up so i'm a woman's nine but in men's i'm a woman's eight and so for me personally, just so you guys know, I do tend to like to wear my shoes on the bigger size. I don't like my feet or toes per se touching the edge of this shoe. And again, it's very narrow and shallow in the toe box. And so for me, I feel like just my normal size feels a bit too crammed in the toe box area. And so that's why I like to go that half a size up to give it a little more breathability and room for my toes to move around in. Also, you know, you do have a lot of this cushioning that does tend to push your foot up into the front of the shoe, which I've noticed a lot when I'm walking. And so definitely for me personally, I do feel like going half a size up just makes this specific silhouette a bit more on the comfortable side. All right, so now that we've talked about sizing, we are gonna talk a little bit about the controversy going on with Kanye and the Muslim community. So breaking news, let's jump into that right now. Let's talk about Kanye West and the naming on some of his most recent uh, 350s. So according to Hypebeast's new article they just posted recently, it's catching the unwanted attention of the Muslim community currently. What, whoa, Kanye. For those who are unaware, this colorway utilizes the name of the Islamic angels Israfil and Azrael. So while Azrael is the angel of death in Islam, Israfil is the archangel who signals the day of resurrection with his trumpet. So many are basically taking to Twitter and have even started a petition to boycott the line of sneakers. The petition has already garnered 2,000 signatures and many commenting on the colorway names that are basically saying they're saying are flat out disrespectful to uh, Islam. So while this is not the first time religion was used as an inspiration for a sneaker colorway, as I've spoke about in previous videos, uh, the internet is basically proving that religious figures are things that people kind of want left out of the sneaker community. So let me know your guys' opinion on this. Are you cool with these names? Do you not even care? I mean, obviously sales definitely show that the name did not keep people from purchasing the shoe because it did sell out. So I personally don't think it has affected the community as much as some of these articles are saying. Uh, I think that people are just hardcore Yeezy fans. No matter what the name is, they're gonna go for them anyways. All right, so let's get into shade. Let's talk about some Yeezy supply shade specifically. All right, guys, so I don't know 
how many of you won a pair of shoes either off the Adidas website or off Easy Supply, but as you know, it was exclusive to those two sites. You couldn't get the shoe anywhere else. No one was releasing it. So of course, you know, I got up early, prepped myself for Easy Supply's website, and of course, as soon as I go on my phone, which I'm on LTE, by the way, not even Wi-Fi, it shows me a band, like your IP address or whatever has been banned. And I'm like, what? I'm literally using only my phone to access your site. Like, what have I done wrong? So obviously from there, I'm like, wow, this is gonna be a rough start trying to cop this shoe today. So then of course, you know, I'm like, whatever, let's just keep refreshing. So I finally get into the site. They allow me to go in. So apparently it wasn't banned. I guess that was all fake news. But, uh, you know, I finally am able to cart my size. Luckily, eight was one of the sizes that took a little bit longer to sell out. But, you know, I'm sitting there in a cart just waiting for my card to process. And, of course, all of a sudden it says session timed out. Like, are you freaking kidding me? Like, how does my session time out? So I kept getting that session time out over and over and over and over and over so I wasn't able to actually make it past that processing payment page. So unfortunately I took a fat L on Yeezy Supply but luckily I was fortunate enough to cop some a pair on the actual Adidas site on the raffle. So thank you for the good luck Adidas gods. Thank you so much for allowing me to have these lovely pairs of shoes so that I can do this video but other than that Yeezy Supply you guys gotta get your stuff together, man. Especially when you're literally using one single platform on your cell phone, which is LTE, not even wireless, and you're trying to ban it, like, not okay. All right, so now let's get into the styling portion. I wanna talk about how I style these shoes. I also, of course, maybe I should talk about this first, as I took these shoes for a run, not this specific one, but I did run in the cloud wide. squishy it's kind of like you know going up and down on top of a marshmallow or something it was, it was very very interesting feeling but definitely didn't feel like I had the support I needed to maybe run a mile in that uh, in the silhouette and then I actually tested these shoes out on a ladder so bringing it back to my training days in volleyball did a little Iggy shuffle for you guys and some agility movement just to see you know if this is really an athletic shoe you know what? I haven't gotten a workout today. I think I'm gonna pull out the ladder for you guys just so we can do some Iggy Shuffle, you know. I might throw in a couple extra ones out there for you, so I'll test out these bad boy Yeezys, let you know how it feels afterwards. breath not that I'm out of shape it's just you know getting the blood flowing get those endorphins running a little bit different than running you know I'm gonna feel this in the a.m. tomorrow on the hamstring and the quads but uh, some great agility guys Whew. great workout for today I definitely could get through those exercises but I don't know that I would still recommend these shoes to go hardcore uh, with difficult workouts but those are just some great uh, videos that I have so you can see you know, what these shoes look like with a bit of different movement.
Uh, so next, again, let's get into the styling portion. So we did a little runway walk off for you guys today, a little bit different than what you're used to seeing me do. So the first look, I was able to cop actually the hoodie I'm wearing right now, and this is a Kith Coca-Cola collab hoodie. And I just paired that with, you know, some simple plain black biker shirts, because as you guys know, I love using black. I only work in black, and sometimes very, very dark gray. And then, uh, you know, I just thought that this is just a nice casual sporty wear. I loved the colors in this hoodie. I think it's got a lot of natural colorways in it, but it also has that like denim blue that's on this shoe. I mean, come on guys, like this is like, this is perfect. Like these colors match this shoe perfectly. And so I definitely wanted to pull tones from the hoodie out from the shoe to really just make this first look pop for you. And it also has, you know, some of the, even like these pinks and peachy colors, like this peachy color, I didn't even realize, like this is literally like the exact color of the stripe. So I don't know, I don't think I could have found a better colored hoodie to match this specific color way than this first look. All right, so the second look was just a plain basic tank top. And I paired that with these oversized baggy pants, which if you haven't, go and see that Lada Volkova video that I just did. And those pants are for, from her collab she did with Adidas in that specific collection. And I just think that blue really worked well with this colorway. Again, like this is, you know, got a lot of grayish blue tones coming out of it. And I think that navy was just like a nice accented blue that really worked well with the colors in this shoe. And you know, those are some athletic pants, but I also think that they can look a bit dressier. So I wanted to give you guys that other option. And last but not least, I paired that with, for my Supreme community out there, uh, the Verify Supreme Tee that I just popped last week in that Heather Gray. So of course there's lots and lots of grays going on in this colorway. So we've got it in the laces, we've got it in that prime knit as well as just this is a grayish blue. So, you know, that shirt also has a lot of blue tones in it. So I thought that that was another perfect t-shirt to pair with this shoe. And then I just wore some simple denim because I think guys, like I gotta give you guys more options in, you know, these different kind of lifestyle outfits that I choose. So I wanted to give you, you know, an option and just some simple denim that I rolled up. And of course, I mean, you can't go wrong. This has so many, types of jean bluish colorways that it's giving off so of course it's going to go great with just a simplified denim pant and you know i chose just kind of a middle color grade of a medium blue so i think that that just went very very well with the grayish tones of the blue colorway in this silhouette <laughs>
right, so that is for the styling section. Let me know at the end of this video which outfit you guys liked the most. Supreme guys out there, you're biased, so I already know which outfit you're gonna check, <laughs> vote for. So other than that, let's hop into the resale portion of this. All right, so the Israfels retailed at $220. Currently, the base sizes, like usual for this specific silhouette, are the ones that tend to resell at a higher value price point. Uh, in this case, the base sizes are going around high twos to 300 range, and the larger sizes are a little bit less, so 260 to 280, which is as expected. Uh, as far as, you know, price changes and things like that, I don't know if all the controversy around this shoe is going to bring that price point down or if it's going to bring it up. We shall see. But uh, again, thank you Suplex for providing me with all the numbers that I need in order to find out how this shoe is reselling. All right guys, so thanks again so much for tuning in to another unboxing. This is Shay TV. My name is Marissa Hill. If you're new to my channel, don't forget hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up at the end, as well as hit that notification bell, guys, because guess what? We have premieres on Friday, so you guys are going to be so excited to see what we will be premiering this week, so don't forget, hit that notification so you know when we will be posting it, as well as leave us any comments or questions that you may have had on this unboxing today. Let me know what you thought of the colors, also the looks, whether or not you copped it, whether or not you took a fat L, all right, and I just want to remind you guys, this Tuesday, September 1st at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time, I will be on the Roscoe Show, so I would love to have the Shade community there with me. You guys will be able to talk to me live for the first time, so this is pretty exciting for me. And uh, yeah, other than that, you guys, we will see you next time.